So as promised, we're auditing headteacherchat.com. If you want your website audit, you can go over to ScaleSleek and just drop your URL on this post. So first, I'm just trying to figure out what exactly is going on here. There's a lot of links. Looks like they're selling planners and uh, notes as well. So this is like a resource resource website for teachers, I assume. I mean, with all these like pages and all this content, there's a lot of room for the SEO here. So that's pretty solid. Um, now let's actually audit it. So let's start off with the landing page. Take it across to scale sleek. Also going to do the same thing with the blog page. Okay, so the blog page is a 404. Um, I'd look at fixing this or redirecting this to a different page. So in this case, let's uh, also do the products and services. Okay, let me pull this across. Let's hit view audit. Um, okay, so just going through like some of the on-page stuff. Titles, not that amazing. Um, I would encourage upgrading into one of these titles. Meta description, okay, it seems fine. There is some structured data. I would recommend switching this out to FAQ structured data. This just seems like standard website building structured data. Um, the FAQ one will give you better search results. Also, if like you come up and people also ask. H1 tags, fine. H2 tags also seems pretty solid. Image alt text could be upgraded, um, especially since there's a lot of images. Yeah, going back to the, the website, it seems that there's a few issues with some of these. For example, this is the webinars page. It's solid. I like the fact that there's a search bar. This is actually pretty good for your SEO um, and mainly because of the UI, uh, the user interface. But the these cards are great, but underneath the content is pretty thin. Um, I'd suggest making this a bit thick and adding some internal links into them. Same with the planner page. Uh, it's pretty solid. I think these images also need some old text from what we found in the audit. But going back down, like this is good, but some of these could be a bit longer and add some more internal links, like connect them to other useful resources. This is where the blog page comes in handy because you want your website to be like a network of resources. So I'd suggest making blog posts about these things you have here and then interlinking the two. So let's check out the products page. So on the products page, um, same with schema. I'll suggest doing the FAQ schema. If you hit the generate button, you can add an FAQ schema. Meta description, it's pretty good. It could be better. I think like these first two, well, actually all of these are uh, slightly better. Sorry, page title. But I want to actually focus on the keywords. I think the main thing that needs to be improved on this page is the content. And that's why like optimize it towards these keywords, pick a few to focus on in the beginning and create the content around them, add it into like some of these descriptions here. Even if you go into these pages, you can link it all. You can link this, you see there's like four or four here. So it's really important to make sure all these pages are actually working. And in terms of the content, like bulk it up a bit more here. Otherwise these are thin pages, especially at the bottom. And you want to interlink this with the blog. You want to interlink this with the, the main page for the products and services. These keywords give you a great base to start off with, with which keywords you should be aiming for. Um, you can even add on to them to create long tail keywords. If you hit Uber suggest, or if you have access to the domain, I recommend hitting the GSC wildcard button. This will find a bunch of long tail keywords you are ranking for already. But overall, the best way to just get started with these fixes is take every page. Like we just did the products page and the blog page and the home page. Um, I recommend you go through each page individually, plug it into scale sleek and see where you can start making improvements.